The first hairstyle is uh, half up, half down. And so the first thing I'm going to do is section my the front half of my hair off. And I'm just going to take the back and tie it up so it will be out of the way. And then I'm going to take the top part and I'm just going to pull it up into a ponytail. Once I've got my ponytail made, I'm going to take two locks and I'm going to wrap it around the base of the ponytail just to hide the ponytail holder that I used. And that is the first look, half up, half down, very simple and easy. The second look is also a half up, half down style, but this time we're going to add a pompadour to the front. So I'm going to section the middle um, part of my hair off and tie it away. And then I'm going to make um, another ponytail um, at the top of my head. Now I'm going to take the front section and I'm going to twist it away from my face and I'm going to take the end of that twist and wrap it around the ponytail and just tuck the end under. Then I'm going to just kind of shape the pompadour to my liking and then use a pin to secure it closer to my scalp. And you may also want to use another pin just to put on the ponytail just to make sure those ends don't come up. And that is the second look half up half down with the pompadour style number three is to the two twist pullback so you're gonna first you're gonna make a side part then you're gonna take each side and make a two strand twist and the two you want to twist it away from your face each side so here I'm twisting the second half then I'm just gonna take those two twists and tie it in a knot And that is your third style. We're gonna use style three to make to create style four. I'm gonna use a band and just tie off that knot to make sure it stays tight. Then I'm gonna section the back of my hair off in three sections. And two of those sections I'm gonna put in two strand twist. As you can see, I did not twist the middle section I'm going to use a scrunchie to tie off the end of that then I'm just going to roll and tuck it into a bun and also use some bobby pins to better secure it The next step is to take the twist and wrap it around the bun. The first twist I'm going to take under the bun and then tuck it in the tuck the ends into the top of the bun. And then the second twist I'm going to take it on top of the bun and then tuck the twist under the bun. And take some hair pins just to secure it and make sure those ends don't come up. Now I'm going to take some Hicks edges and lay my edges down. And that is style number four, the twisted bun, which is one of my favorite looks. Very simple style and you can wear it for any occasion. On to style five, which is going to be a high bun. First step in this style is to sweep all of your hair towards the front. Oh. So after I've swept all of my hair to the front, I'm going to use a knee-high stocking to tie my hair into a ponytail. 
now I'm going to take the uh, locks and I'm going to kind of spread it out over the, across my ponytail as if I'm going to do a sock bun and then I'm going to take some uh, small sections and I'm just going to twist it around my hair until I create a bun and then you just secure it with bobby pins. Style number six is what I call the side swept tie up. The first thing you want to do is take one side of your hair and sweep it to the other side. Then you're going to take the, the front um, two rows of your hair and you're just going to pull those over the hair that you swept to the side. Then you're going to take um, a few pieces of hair from the back and the sides and you're going to tie it into a knot. And that is how it looks once we're all done. Very cute and simple and takes very little time to achieve. I'm going to use this look to go straight into style number seven, which is the knot braid. So taking about three locks per side, I'm going to tie my hair into knots. And I think I'm going to make four knots. The last knot you make, you want to make sure you do it tight to just to hold everything in place. So now I'm just going to push all of those knots that I made um, close so that they touch each other and as you can see I formed a braid using those knots and then I'm just going to take some hairpins just to hold everything in place and there you have your knot braid um, this braid is very similar to a fishtail but it is much easier to do thank you guys for watching